This video is for Yusuf. This is our Patreon request. We're checking out Galenarius Angel of Salvation. Now, I've seen the music video version like uh, quite a few times, but I've never seen the live version. So buckle up, man. This is like 16 and a half minutes. I'm excited. Let's go. Oh, it's nice. The string section is live. Quite a few of them, too. Oh, God, audience? Okay, now you're on. It's just so typical, dude. They're not even in. They haven't even set time yet. The audience is like, fuck it, let's go. Let's just do it. Let's just go. Let's do it. Do our own thing. And they're like, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Listen to this transition as we get into that. It's so funny. Yeah, dude. Bum, 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 bum. And they're like, oompa, oompa. They're totally clapping in the offbeat. God, it's so ridiculous. Just chill. Just wait like five seconds, man. Just wait. that intro many times it's just it's just different can you imagine being there the lights are down you got string intro all of a sudden boom lights are up double kick is in your face and the volume is just probably melting your ears out man oh my god i would uh i'd pay a lot of money i'd pay a lot of money to see this all right let's This voice is just got to be one of the best. Hope you don't mind. I made myself small. I just feel like you'd want to see most of the band. Who gives a shit about me? Oh, man. He just has such an anthem, beautiful, commanding. I, I'm not joking when I say I listen to the uh, Hunter Hunter opening like almost daily because I just like hearing that style of just fanfare uh, rock dude voice just commanding. This is fucking awesome, man. That little just uh, tap percussive way up. I like that. And 
the cross stick is super live. If through all that, you can really hear it. It's good. It's, it's weird because normally, I, you know, I stop songs so much and go back and we analyze and listen to layers and go back again. But I've done this before in the song and we're hearing pretty much the same versions, but it's just cooler because it's live and it's real. I guess the biggest takeaway is just to remember to appreciate folks that can do their craft that they give to you in a, either a music video format or a, some kind of, you know, audio, either it's whether it's CD, I guess it's mainly streaming nowadays. But uh, and the fact that they can do it live, that's super important because um, more often than not, a lot of famous people, well, famous people. Uh, they're not able to do the craft that they sit, you know, and have engineered and mastered and just mixed and everything perfected for months and months after the studio session. So I just think it's cool when you hear like a lot of great musicians playing like this. So uh, I'm not going to go back and do all kinds of detailed stuff of like listening and just more of appreciating the fact that there's a string section on stage uh, playing and, you know, which is so used to playing in a different medium, just alongside a completely badass fucking rock metal band, man. It's just with an anth with an anthem on vocals. This is so great. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm not, so at this point now, I can't remember. I can't remember if this is, if these. there's an extended solo in the uh, music video, which is amazing. But I feel like that section with the bass in him first, that where they were featured there was this nice, real, really good groove. Also, I got to say, the bassist, I actually just got out of rehearsal. I, I, big, it's money, for me right now, when I'm recording this Monday night. And I have jazz band on Monday nights. And it's interesting because it's such a, oh, you can't hold on. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Bada bing. There we go. Uh, I'm, I play more here. I've played this way my whole life. It's fun to watch someone with the ergonomics makes sense, right? Like you have the, the base so low, your arm is much longer, your right arm that is extended and you just have the neck am angled up at you. I can see where that would be advantageous. I'm just, I don't know. I've gotten so used to being this guy because primarily just like jazz settings, combo settings, big guy. And I'm an electric player. I only played upright for a little bit. Upright and I did not. We did not get along. Uh, I just was not, I had no desire to be like, in orchestra that was not was, Boeing was not my thing anyway uh sorry I just wanted to appreciate dude and how smooth he is and just the conceptual composition standpoint of how that was phrased together and just the showcase of his guitar work now <laughs> That is a guitarist. My God, dude, that is, just... it's funny though. Cause like I'll fuck around with like, I'll watch one of these videos and I'll be like, Oh yeah, it's cool. Dude. Like, let me just, let me just plug this in real quick. Get my distortion pedal on. And I like just 
sucked so bad. And I'm like, let me just put that back down real quick. Put that away. <laughs> it's you watch someone like this just effortlessly. You can see the years and years and years and thousands of hours of a uh, just smoothness, man. It's just unreal. <laughs> It's, that was a great keyboard solo. The other thing, cool thing you have to keep in mind, uh, I've been around I've been around orchestral string players for like years and years and years of my life. You know, very close people in my life. Um, it's a tall order. So these, I, I'm praising these string musicians here because, you know, uh, they're playing a lot of notes and they're playing in an, in an environment that's just not conducive to string or chamber ensemble playing because of how fucking loud it is, dude. This place would be just blowing your ears out. And... I mean, they're probably all playing with in-ears too. And it's probably protective in-ears, which is, I mean, it kind of makes more sense. But still, the point being, the style of instrument and the way you play and think about intonation, because obviously string instruments, for those of you who don't play, like violin, viola, bass, and cello, it's very, very, very demanding playing in tune because the the proficiency level required to play, like violin especially, it's just, it's so high. Like vi a good violinist is a very, very, very good musician. They've invested a lot of time. So the point I'm stopping and talking about is like, you're taking <laughs> such a... a the, the notes of this, like the speed and like ramming, like violin, like old school, like, you know, you think about everything that's like every concerto and awesome epic piece. It's, it's the same like feeling as a guitarist, like shredding, like it's equal. Like it's just, it's completely badass, just in a more technical way, to be honest. Um, but it's such a different ensemble style and era and time period that those instruments acoustically, you know, because they are not electric. They don't need an amp. They are their own self-sufficient instruments. So you put it in an environment like this for someone that's played in an ensemble that rehearses very differently. You have to have cool people. Like people are down with it. I know so many string players be like, I'm not doing this. Like they'd have the chops to do it, but they'd be like, I cannot handle being on stage for an extended period of like a, like gigging every night with that kind of volume just because of the differences. So sorry. I know I was like, oh, let's not do tangents. We're doing tangents. Sorry. My bad. Let's keep going. Take this acapella section in a second. Coming out of into that transition just from that that twelve eight six eight almost jig like feeling just directly into that. That it's just good musicianship. Okay, let's hear the uh, the uh, the featured vocals here.
section is all legit repertoire, man. That is just so great. Does anyone have a, is there transcription? And I don't mean tabs. I mean like transcription, transcription, like actual music. <laughs> God, dude. And the bass is right there with him, too. Can you imagine? What if that dude didn't pick up a guitar when he was a kid? What if what if he'd have been like, no, I like stocks and bonds. We would have, like, not had this artist in the world. Oh, my God, dude. The end of that was so ridiculous, dude. The bass is... I, I was trying to, like, listen. It's hard not to geek out and watch his hands and just look at how... Uh, the other thing I like to look at is how relaxed the right hand is. There's just no strain whatsoever. It's just funny. It, these people are so deceptive. They sell like, oh yeah, it's just you just do this, and it's just it's not that man. It's when someone's that good and they make it look that easy and just you know effortless. That's when shit's very 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 difficult. But it was fun to listen down to the bass player uh, doubling up. I would love, uh, God, can you just? I can't imagine. I'm not on that level, dude. I'm not on that level, man. Other things you have to keep in mind, we're like the 11 minute mark here. Now, granted, there was a tiny bit of uh, what was it, like 30 seconds of not high BPM, not high uh, tempo stuff in the beginning. You got to think about this, like the fundamentals that these people, the skill sets that they possess. Like think about the drummer the whole time. Feet are just going. Gr granted, we have a couple different feels that go like it happen and stuff. But you have to just remember like the average person, <laughs> Jesus, dude, you sit down, you play that, you know, like at some point, you know, and you inevitably have a hiccup, you know, he doesn't have any, there's no hiccups. We're just jamming the whole time. Everything is perfect. There's all kinds of linear stuff happening. Everything is through composed. You know, we have melodic lines. Everyone's layering in in the ensemble, but the point is the chops are there to just be like, yeah, it's no problem. And you're, and you're performative too. You're not just sitting and focusing and playing like, fuck, don't, don't let me mess this up. I need to be rhythmically perfect. Everything like dynamically has to balance. He's also having a great time. Like, so you just have to think about all these things of how long it takes to get to that level to before it's effortless. I know we've literally said that like three times, but I bet you just watch the drummer and you're like, how, how man, it's just, and who knows in the set list, where is this song at? And all their songs are probably this involved live because it's how they play. I've seen a couple of their songs live and it's just like, so guitars, you just, you're remembering like 18 minutes of harmonies and like chord progressions and notes you're filling in. Cause your souls are probably note perfect and note the same every time. Like is your, your brain is just like a, you know, 30 terabyte <laughs> it's just intense.
supportive layers from guitar to voice. I just, I, I would pay a lot. I would pay lots and lots of money to see this live. I would like, I don't know how long they're going to be like a touring band. This is, oh man, this is from 2014. This is almost 10 years old. Are they still touring? Like, I don't even know, dude. I don't even know. My point is I would pay ridiculous money to, to be in this crowd, to have this experience at least once before it's not a thing. Like, Nobody's on their phone. Everyone's in. It's just such a different audience style, man. No one's stomping each other out. This is so great. That was cool to see him turn around and guitarist turn around immediately as attention goes to the band. You know he's going to conduct that raw entendo there to keep that under control. So it's fun to see where that comes from. <laughs> Yeah, that was something else, man. Everyone, and everyone there, there's a life-changing experience. I wonder if YouTube is going to let me upload because, man, I didn't. That was like basically full-screen video, almost on the screen the whole time. Let's uh, let's look down here at the. Uh, oh yeah, let's see, let's see. Oh, VAP, Bap Musirk Rex. Okay, well we'll see. 
we'll see if this actually goes up. If it, Hey, if it did, if you're watching it here, then it obviously did. But I, I will be surprised because we didn't do much stopping. We didn't do much going back. So anyway, that was an amazing experience. I don't even know what to say. I just, I really hope at some point, uh, if they're still touring, I could find a way to get to one of their shows and experience that while they're still, you know, healthy and doing everything that they're doing because... Uh, I don't know. That's a, it's pretty, it's a pretty unique sound in my opinion. So anyway, you know what it is. My name is Drumroll Tony. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you so much. All the links for everything is down in the video description below. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.